Hi guys, welcome to For Those Who Code. In this video, I'll be sharing top 10 my personal favorite tips and tricks inside Figma. Here, we will understand and explore some handy shortcuts, tricks, and time-saving work process inside our design file. So, let's get started. So, the first tip I want to share about is swapping and switching icons inside a button. So, for uh, example, I have uh, some examples on the uh, left and we will replicate and uh, go to each example so first of all let's uh, create a text here we'll call it our button and which is 17 it's fine and uh, we'll use a plugin called auto layout and it can be found inside uh, here i have already installed it but if you want to install it you can go to manage plugin and then inside the community plugins and uh, here you can find the plugins as well or you can just go ahead and search for it as well we will create a text first and then we will add an auto layout here and we will like keep it 15 on the top and bottom and 30 uh, in our right and left and for the fill, uh, let's choose this color pressing Ctrl C. And for the text inside, I will uh, use a white one. So inside here, I will bring a icon that uh, I have created, which is this one. And inside here, let's first place it inside here. So uh, I have like 10 pixel gaps between the button and icon and let's also change the color of this one as well and add a bit of border radius to it so yeah uh, right now what we can do here is we can uh, click on this particular icon and press on the right and left arrow key so that we can um, place our icon in, inside our button as well so uh, this is really handy tip uh, and we can also use the flip key. Uh, the shortcut is shift H so that we can flip our icon uh, when needed as well. So uh, now let's move on to another another uh, one, which is uh, first of all, I will create this uh, component, then then I will replicate this one, and then we can also swap this particular icon uh, from our uh, list of icons which I have already prepared the asset for so clicking on the option and command we can drag and drop down this right here and you can see that our icon has been replaced with the old one and we can also change the color as well now I have created another button so I, I want to like write some download and then swap this particular icon with the download button pressing option and command and then drag it in and right here and then we can change the color as well so as you can see that we have a small gap here so we can uh, decrease and increase the gaps as well and also if needed we can also like resize it um, in, if needed as well but we have 24 here so uh, 24 here is also I think a fine as well so uh, 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 this is uh, swapping uh, and switching icons inside a button so we can uh, create uh, any button like share download and primary action with icons and uh, primary tertiary and all kind of buttons as well so now uh, the next uh, tip I want to share about is placing images so uh, right now what I'll do is I will uh, add some rectangle blocks right here so right here and then I'll show you that uh, two ways how we can place images inside these rectangles the, so the first one is using the plugin called content reel so uh, to bring up uh, a certain uh, kind of panel over here uh, I will press command and backslash where I can access uh, the shortcuts and typing that whatever I need 
So I'll click on the content wheel and I just select these three and click on avatars and apply all. So now what we can see here is we have three avatars which we grabbed it from our content drill plugin. So uh, another trick I want to share is like placing some like mask some images right here in inside our uh, rectangles. For that I will grab some uh, images and save it locally uh, inside my local machine. So I have already downloaded three images in my local machine. So uh, in case of uh, some uh, mask that we need to add with uh, uh, some images in, inside our local machine, we can um, uh, press on the command and backslash and then place uh, image. And uh, if we just tap or like click on that one, we can uh, select these three and click on open. And then uh, we can tap in right here so that uh, it fills up images right here so and the last one right here we have the three images inside our local machine uh, which is masked uh, inside the rectangle as well now the next trick that I want to uh, share to you guys is you know, the double click so um, what double click uh, does is let's suppose I press on T and write something something here here is um, suppose we have uh, uh, something text like this one right here and we need to like uh, make it one liner then we can what we can do here is we can uh, double tap on uh, these like cursor that is showing and if we just double if we just hit the double tap then what we can uh, see is it's it has turned into uh, full width uh, which is also like auto width uh, and uh, it's seen as like clicking on auto width or auto height or fixed size so uh, this is also a handy tip uh, for us as well now let's moving on to um, the next uh, let's suppose we have nested layers inside our uh, right here uh, so uh, what we can do here is uh, collapse layer and expand so uh, right here what we can see here is we have a nested layers over here and um, one by one uh, in a case where we have a lot of nested layers uh, we need to like open it up one by one so uh, in that case of scenario we can hit on option and click on the master so that everything collapses and everything expands so uh, we can uh, tap on uh, the option and without tapping on option we can just see uh, like this and with uh, tapping on option and click on here everything is expanded so yeah uh, it's also a really handy tip by pressing option and clicking on the groups that uh, we need to expand the layers as well so another tip I want to share about is it's called override reverse to master so for example i have some avatars right here and uh, and i will also create a background for it meanwhile uh, we can copy uh, this particular drop shadow by clicking on this one and then pressing on command c and command v so that the drop, drop shadow is like placed here we can also use option command and control i mean option uh, command and C on Mac and option command uh, V to paste that in and then we'll bring uh, this particular uh, circle right here and then we can uh, like center it as well a little bit upwards and then we can write something like mm, John Doe right here and then align it center and yeah so uh, right here and what we can uh, do here is we can bring on um, uh, like uh, some type uh, interface with command backslash and type on here uh, content wheel so that we can add some 
content into, into our design files. So click on avatar and click on this one. So yeah, and then we will select these all and group it and then we can create a component. So uh, after creating component, this is our master component. Let's replicate our master component and create um, a replication of the master. And what we can do here is we can also edit this particular um, this particular component with some override. For example, I made it red and add some uh, strokes to it, and then give it a three pixel of stroke. And then what we can do here is override reverse to master, which which means that we can change our master. Or let's suppose we have um, like many artboards and uh, it uses the same master component inside our artboards then we can mm, uh, use this particular component to change the master as well which is uh, in a sense it's a reverse uh, change to master or reverse override to master so uh, right now i clicked on uh, this one and then i can go to push overrides to master so that every uh, component or uh, the, the master and all the component inside our ui changes uh, in in a reverse order so that this is really handy uh, in a case where we are working larger design files as well so now let's move on to another trick which is called adding description to help developers this particular uh, tricks is really handy for example uh, I created a rectangle and then I rename it like BG and then I can also add a description for uh, this particular component after uh, making it um, a component itself or ju just a symbol uh, in a sense and then I can go on here and add some add some descriptions so that uh, we, uh, uh, the other developer can uh, see this description inside their code uh, when they switch to code uh, they can see this so we can also write so um, yeah so now after switching on to the code then what we can see here is this use a great background inside the css which is commented out so this uh, is really handy for uh for communicated uh, i mean communicating to the developers and then we can uh, add some comments inside our design uh during the developer handoff as well so now uh let's move on to the next so uh, this is really awesome uh, which is called charting with shapes for example we have a simple oval shape right here and then uh, we can we can also like change this particular shape to these shapes right here so uh, how it can be done is uh, we if we got, uh, just hover on this one we see a, a rounded structure here so that we can uh, like drag this inwards and then we can right here so we created something like pac-man so uh, a, a same can be done with um, making this kind of shapes right here so uh, drag it in and then drag this one out and then also drag this one in and then we have created some kind of C alphabet C uh, right here so uh, this one is really handy uh, trick as well so in case of like we need to uh, add some um, donut charts in, inside our UI this is really helpful so uh, we can use for example let's change this and uh, let's bring it backwards and then change this one to uh, right here and we can drag it in and fill the remaining part as well and then same thing we can do it with uh, the the layer in the backwards and we can uh, also add some kind of like donut charts over here and it can be also made some multicolor. I will copy and paste and then I will drag it in and we can also use it with different colors 
so really helpful for some kind of dome charts or circle diagram that we use inside our UI. So um, the next trick I want to share about is renaming bunch at once. So right here, what we can do here is renaming bunch layer at once. So I will select all the layers I want to rename it. So press Command R so that uh, we can see the rename eight layers. And by the way, we can also use some regex inside uh, this particular text field, but we won't be diving into regex because um, it links with the JavaScript. So um, to understand regex, you need to like go through some of the regex courses. For now, uh, uh, I can just write current name and then a number. So right here, we can see that background grade 0 01, 0 02, 0 03, 0 04, and the number can also be in decrement current name and decrement so eight seven six five uh up to one so rename it so our all all the layers are renamed uh as desired so uh, this is also a handy tip for renaming a lot of layers uh, at once as well so now uh, next, the next next step i want to share about it's called wheel and stroke let's suppose i bring on a triangle over here uh, so but it's called polygon uh, it's named as polygon right here um, uh, so let's uh, bring on this one I will choose a color from this one and then we can what we can do here is we can uh, click on this one and select this particular shape and press on shift and X and change it uh, to fill or outline pressing on shift and X so right here I pressed on shift and X and it's a fill I can change its color as well and I'll press on shift and X to change its outline and add some stroke of 4 or shift and X to fill and add some colors from this triangle as well so this is also a really handy tip uh, for uh, like speeding up your uh, design workflow as well so now uh, the last tip I want to discuss about is called flip uh, horizontal or vertical. For example, we have uh, an arrow. Let's suppose I will drag it in. I will replicate this one. And we, what we can do here is we can flip horizontal or vertical um, to this these uh, icons as well. So uh, to flip horizontal or vertical, we can use some shortcuts like Shift H, so that we can flip on. Uh, in the x-axis right here it's uh, 180 degree and then we can also flip uh, vertically as well so so we can achieve it by shift and v so to uh, like vertically flip the element and for horizontal we can use shift and edge so this is also a really handy tip um, for uh, spinning up uh, our design workflow as well uh, the bonus uh, I want to uh, discuss and um, uh, share to you guys is adding a cover image to our design files. So um, uh, adding a cover image to our design files means uh, like if we go to uh, back to our files then what we can see here is we have uh, uh, like an artboard of uh, cover image right here tips and tricks. So uh, if I go into tips and tricks and I uh, like clicked on this one and uh, and create this particular as a set as thumbnail and what we can see here uh, is our thumbnail has been changed to useful uh, Figma tips and tricks right so uh, we can further uh, also what we can do here is we can copy this one and add some uh, different pages and inside here what we can do is here is we can also delete this one and delete this one and save it and save it and back to the files we, we still have it right uh, because we created a uh, cover uh, and uh, rename our uh, this particular file as a cover so it made uh, uh, our cover in this, this one also like we can say the thumbnail to this one as well just to make sure that this one is our cover image right here so um so guys i hope uh you got some uh tips and tricks regarding 
uh, some of the, uh, the Figma design workflow process and how you can speed up your um, work, uh, design workflow as well. So thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want to learn about code design and anything more, please like, share and subscribe with a click down below. I'll be trying to make more better videos like this. So see you in the next one.